1798, British scientists received a sketch of a strange creature from Australia. The animal described had brown fur and a tail like a beaver, but a bill and webbed feet like a duck. It was called a platypus. Because they'd never seen or heard of anything like it, they thought it was a hoax. When the preserved body of a platypus arrived a year later, they thought it was fake and started looking for seams. One of them, George Shaw, even took a pair of scissors to the dried body to check for stitches where he suspected body parts of different animals had been stitched together. It was only when more platypus specimens arrived in England that naturalists finally, grudgingly, granted that the creature was real. Why were these scientists so skeptical? Earlier in the century, a Swedish scientist called Carl Linnaeus had revolutionized science with a new system to organize all living things into groups based on similar features, called classification. For example, even though a budgie and an emu look completely different, they both have a beak, feathers and wings, so they're classified as birds. Animals that give birth to live young and suckle them with milk are classified as mammals. This includes elephants, zebras, dogs, and even whales and dolphins. By the end of the 18th century, this system had become accepted by most scientists. However, the platypus puzzled them because it had features of mammals, such as its fur and tail, as well as features of birds, such as its bill and that it lays eggs. In the end, they looked at its fur, warm blood, and the fact that it suckles its young on milk and decided that the platypus was a mammal like its distant cousin, the beaver.